coordinate covalent bond. Today I will teach you about the formation of coordinate covalent bond and will tell you when a coordinate covalent bond is formed and when a covalent bond is formed. So first of all I will tell you about the coordinate covalent bond. So look at the screen. In coordinate covalent bond the second name of this bond is dative bond. In coordinate covalent bond, you can uh, see that coordinate covalent bond is actually the type of covalent bond, but the main difference is in coordinate covalent bond, both electrons come from the same atom. For example, uh, for example, in ammonium ion, NH4 plus. There are three covalent bond and one coordinate covalent bond. How? Uh, actually, ammonia is a neutral molecule. This molecule will react with hydrogen ion or proton and it will produce NH4 plus 1. If we draw the dot and cross structure of ammonia, so nitrogen is the central atom. Nitrogen has five electrons in its outermost shell. These are the nitrogen's electron. And there are three hydrogen. One, two, and third hydrogen. You can see that this is the covalent molecule in which both electrons are equally shared. One electron from the nitrogen atom and the second electron from the hydrogen atom. These are the covalent bonds. What do you say about the H plus ion? How many electrons are present in H plus? Hydrogen atom has one electron but in H plus there is no electron. Only proton is present inside the nucleus. So H plus has no electron. Can this H plus make a bond yes this H plus can make a bond with this lone pair which is present on the nitrogen so this is the nitrogen outermost shell which has five electrons in its outermost shell and these are the hydrogen's electron 1H this is the second hydrogen second covalent bond and this is the third covalent bond and this H plus will make a bond with these two electrons which are called lone pair and the whole molecule will get a charge of plus one. Why? Why this molecule has a plus one charge? This is molecular ion because NH3 is a neutral molecule and you are adding a positive charge into the neutral molecule so the overall molecule will be ionized and this molecule will get plus one charge. Now you can see in the NH4 structure dot and cross model that these two electrons which are represented by the red colors come from the same atom from the nitrogen and hydrogen atom is not uh, sharing its electron Nitrogen is sharing both of its electron with H plus ion. So this is the coordinate covalent bond. You can represent the coordinate covalent bond with this arrow and covalent bond with plain line. So this is the ammonium ion. The very important thing which you have to memorize or which you have to remember that the strength of the coordinate covalent bond and covalent bond is same. You cannot say that covalent bond is stronger or coordinate covalent bond is stronger. Both bond has the same strength. The second example in the coordinate covalent bond is carbon monoxide. This is very important structure, carbon monoxide. First of all, you have to think that carbon belongs to which group? Fourth group. It's mean carbon has four electrons in its outermost shell. One. 2, 3 and 4 and oxygen belongs to which group? Oxygen has 6 electrons in its outermost shell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 
and 6. These two atoms will make bond with each other. So, how you will draw the dot and cross structure of carbon monoxide? This is the carbon outermost shell. 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is the carbon outermost shell. And this is the oxygen's outermost shell. Oxygen has two unpaired electrons. You can see that two unpaired electrons are present in the oxygen's outermost shell. So one electron here and one electron here and two lone pair here. Now count the number of electrons in the outermost shell of each of these two atoms. In the carbon outermost shell, one, two, three, four, five, and six, only six electrons are present. It is unstable. And in the oxygen outermost shell, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oxygen is stable, but carbon is unstable. So it means this structure is not correct. After the bonding, each atom must has 8 electrons in its outermost shell. So if you draw these two electrons, between this carbon and oxygen, then I think you will be able to draw the correct structure. For example, this carbon, this is the carbon and carbon has two electrons, one and two, two electrons in the back side and this is the oxygen. Oxygen has two electrons which are making the covalent bond. If you put these two electrons in the center, here, like this. Now you can count the number of electrons in the outermost shell of carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And oxygen has also 8 electrons. So this structure is correct. In the structure of carbon monoxide, there are double covalent bond between the carbon and oxygen. This is the one covalent bond. This is the second covalent bond. And this bond is the coordinate covalent bond. And third bond is the coordinate covalent bond. This bond is formed by the sharing of electron from the oxygen atom. And now in carbon monoxide, oxygen has only one pair or one lone pair and carbon atom has also one lone pair. So this is the correct structure. If you find it difficult, you can draw this structure like this. This is the carbon. Carbon has two electrons and this is the structure of oxygen. Oxygen has Oxygen is making double covalent bond with oxygen and one coordinate covalent bond and one lone pair on the back side. You can draw the structure if you find this structure difficult. So this is the carbon and this is the oxygen and this is the covalent bond. This one is covalent bond and this one is coordinate covalent bond in which both electrons come from the same atom. Okay, in the third example, Third example is very very important and this example is Al2 Cl6. If you are A level student then this is a confirmed question in AS. In Al2 Cl6 The central atom is aluminum and there are three chlorine atoms, one, two and three. Draw the second aluminum chloride in this way that the aluminum of the second molecule will come in front of this chlorine.
Okay, now you can see that this ALCL3 is unstable. Why this ALCL3 is unstable? Because this aluminum has incomplete octet. You can see that one, two, three, four, five, and six. Only six electrons are present in the outermost shell of aluminum. So, octet is not complete, so this compound is unstable. And aluminum has eight electrons in its outermost shell. Similarly, in the second molecule of AlCl3 is also unstable because octet is not complete. So these two molecules will make a coordinate covalent bond with each other. How? Aluminum has three electron in its outermost shell and chlorine atom has seven electron in its outermost shell. After the single covalent bond of chlorine, you can see that three paired electron, three lone pair are present on the chlorine atom. So this chlorine will make a coordinate covalent bond with this aluminum and this chlorine which has lone pair can make a coordinate covalent bond with the second aluminum. So for the formation of coordinate covalent bond there are two conditions. One atom must have a lone pair and the second atom have second atom has empty orbital in which electrons can reside. If you want to draw the dot and cross of Al2Cl6, it is very easy, not difficult. So I will represent the aluminum with red color. Okay, this is the aluminum. It has three electron, one, two, three, and there are three chlorines, one, two, and three. First chlorine, this is the second chlorine, and this one is the third chlorine. And chlorine has seven electron in its outermost shell. You have to draw the remaining electrons. If you will not draw the remaining electron, you will get the marks loose. This is AlCl3. This is the second molecule of AlCl3. Now draw this second molecule of AlCl3. I will represent the aluminum with red color. So this chlorine, which is donating its both electron to the aluminum, so I will draw the aluminum in this way. This is aluminum and this aluminum has three electrons in its outermost shell. And now I will draw the chlorine. First chlorine. Chlorine has seven electrons. One, two, three, four, five and six. This is the second chlorine. And this one is the third chlorine. Now you can count the number of electrons. You can count the number of electrons. Each atom has eight electrons in its outermost shell. And this is the Al2Cl6 in which two bonds are the coordinate covalent bond and the remaining bonds are the covalent bond. The other examples are hydronium ion. Hydronium ion means H3O+. How this molecular ion will form? There is actually a water molecule H2O. Oxygen has two lone pair in its outermost shell and this is H+. This H+, will make a bond with this lone pair of oxygen and hydronium ion will form. This is the coordinate covalent bond. So overall molecule will be positive because a positive species is added into the neutral molecule. This is the coordinate covalent bond and this is the end of the lecture. I hope you liked my lecture. Please subscribe my channel. Okay.